I'm very pleased uh, to announce that uh, former State President, uh, State Senate President Shan Satsui has accepted the position of Lieutenant Governor of Hawaii effective immediately under the orders of succession. Now you saw that right here on KITV4 News, the only station in the state to bring you yesterday's live coverage on TV, online, and your mobile device of the announcement that Senate President Shan Tsutsui has become Hawaii's next lieutenant governor. And the new man for the job is in studio with us this morning for an exclusive morning interview. Good morning, Lieutenant Governor. Good morning. Thank Thanks you so for much for me. joining us. Thanks for having me. So what do you think about your crazy life right now? You have security detail. You might possibly move into Washington Place and a whole new job title. Well, you know, it's been uh, an incredible last 24 hours. Um, you know, there's been a lot of movement, you know, with the new senator shots uh, taking uh, his seat in Washington, D.C., and, of course, you know, conversations with the governor over the last 24 hours about my role as a lieutenant governor. And, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited about the opportunities. One of the things that the former LG did, Brian Chantz, uh, he one of his roles was to look for federal funding for the islands. Uh, what will you be doing in your new role? <clears throat> you know, the governor and I had spent some time, of course, over the 24 hours, we couldn't, you know, uh, work out all of the details. But, you know, I, I intend to certainly help the governor in a number of different ways. Um, I'm not sure exactly if it's going to be uh, continuing on some of the um, uh, initiatives which Lieutenant Governor Schatz uh, had started, or if it may be some others, but we'll work some of those things out in the next few days. Now, some people have called the uh, Abercrombie administration toxic, and we've seen this uh, turnover in his cabinet and uh, in his office, frankly. And was that any consideration for you? Did you have any concerns about that? Well, you know. I, I think over the last couple of years, I think if you look at you know some of the changes that have taken place in his administration, I think they've all been positive changes, and I certainly think you know the governor has um, done some really good things in terms of you know uh, assisting the state in its economic recovery, and you know really trying to strengthen the state's financial picture. So I want to be a part of continuing some of those initiatives in the next two years. You've been serving the people of Maui for t 10 years in the state legislature and now you're in a statewide office and a lot of people statewide might still be getting to know you so what do you think is your most significant accomplishment to date so far? Well <clears throat> you know I think um, you know one of the things that you know I, I really uh, focused on when I was at the state uh, as the Senate president was really trying to create greater transparency, trying to uh, focus on access, uh, accessibility to government. Um, you know, one of the initiatives that w we were having in place would be to allow uh, neighbor island residents to testify on pieces of legislation without actually being here through, uh, you know, video streaming and through uh, teleconferencing. And mm -hmm. so, you know, the idea of me having a Maui office for the as, as a lieutenant governor, I think will will further you know, push the uh, governor's uh, initiative of making sure that our state is equally represented. And so people on Maui will be potentially have a greater voice uh, into state government because of this. Right? I hope so. I think that's the goal. And uh, we certainly will definitely work on trying to make sure that it's not just Maui, but also the Big Island and Kauai counties as well. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a really interesting first name, <laughs> Shan, and I'm sure it's been mispronounced many, many times. Can you tell us how, how you got that name? Well, you know, I, I've asked my mom on a, a number of occasions, and of course she said, well, you know, she liked the name Shannon. I don't think she knew if I was going to be a boy or girl, but she liked it and thought that she should, you know, cut it down. And interesting enough, you know, when I first got elected, Senator Inouye had asked me about my name, and I told I told him just that. I mean, my mom liked the name Shannon. She cut it in half, <laughs> and um, he said, "Well, maybe you should make something up." <laughs> <laughs> but you're truthful about that yeah, one, okay, yeah. Lieutenant Governor Shan Tsutsui, Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and congratulations on your new job. Thank you for having me. And if you'd like to see this interview again, you can head to the top video section of our website, KITV.com. It is 647.